<clears throat> hey, I'm just going to do a really quick video. I put my hair up about two and a half hours ago this morning, and I'm trying to see if it'll look okay when I take out these twists for the day. So usually I do them overnight, but I didn't this time. And they're actually one strand twists instead of two strand twists. I just took like one piece of hair and twirled it like this and then wrapped it around the rollers. So let's see if this is successful. And I finally got my new camera. It's a Sony Cybershot uh, D, uh, DSC H20. Some of them are looking okay, some of them aren't looking as good. So, well, I was just too tired to put these in last night. I usually, I never try to do it in the morning because I just run out of time. But it's Saturday, so I had two hours to wait. I knew I wasn't going to be going anywhere for at least two, three hours after waking up anyway. It's looking all right, not bad. Stuck on each other. I need a place to put these. Where do you put your, where do you keep your curlers? Let me know. I put them in a plastic shower cap usually, but it looks kind of tacky. I need something like a special case for it. I lost the case that they came in, the plastic. So as you can see, I'm not, I'm not extremely neat. I just put stuff wherever, but now that I have my own apartment, I would actually like to be neat. So any tips? on uh, where you put your stuff in your bathroom. Look at this. It's a mess. I have plenty of drawers and things in here, but they've got stuff in them too. But any tips on how to keep stuff organized? If there's something I should buy for my bathroom or something, just, just let me know, please. I'll go buy it and then I'll make a video showing you my new organized bathroom. Okay, there's just a couple more. Wow, it's really not half bad. Oh, the noises from upstairs can be freaky sometimes. They sound like they're coming from my apartment somewhere. Alright, that's it. And, uh, have a look. I'm actually not done yet. I'm gonna untwist them a bit. Free them. And to hold this, I use conditioner and water. This is actually, this used to be Moshe's leave-in, which is a pretty good product. But I actually uh, have filled it up with water because it ran out of the product. And I use um, a conditioner as well. That what, Not a leave-in conditioner, just a regular moisturizing conditioner. Um, it does really well in my hair. It's this... Um, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's the re-moisturized type. It's really good. I like it. Um, some other products I use that do really well as far as holding and keeping moisture in my hair are the organic um, root stimulator products like this olive oil. Um, sheen spray, it smells good and it keeps your hair um, like really 
shiny looking. I didn't want to spray it because I didn't I didn't want my hair to get too much moisture in it because then it would still be wet when I took it out. But if I do my hair overnight, I almost always use that. And uh, this stuff is okay too. Olive oil, uh, hair lotion, same brand. It's pretty good. All right, I actually like it. It looks decent. Awesome. So I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to go look at furniture today for my apartment, see if I can find anything nice. I should really stop playing with it. See, sometimes I like to put a part in it somewhere, like... Something like this. Yeah, not really working. I think I might pin this up in the back a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. It looks good like that, I think. Like, if I just pin it like this, I think it'll look great. So I'm going to find my bobby pins. The really long black kind are great. Not the regular ones, but they're super long. I love these. Sorry if you can't see my whole face and head. I need better recording equipment. But this is how my style came out. I really like it. Really like the style. And I'm gonna go.